Paul was the visionary who brought real-time science to New Bedford Public Schools. His inception as an ocean-related curriculum for a handful of children has blossomed into this year where 260 students take part in the summer program and every fourth and fifth grade student come to this program during the school year. And directly due to that success of the summer program 12 years ago, a year-round component takes part for grades four and five. That was added under the C-Lab umbrella. It is now my pleasure to present to you Mr. Paul Lavassa, the originator and first director of the C-Lab program. You know, facing everybody here this uh, morning is really quite an interesting thing for me because I can remember in the auditorium that we had an old, our old Sea Lab down in the fort, that um, the biggest room was about, about a third of this one here, and we squeezed everybody in. <laughs> um, the only thing I want to do with you, uh, to you here this morning is to give you an idea of the first morning of the first day. Uh, Sim, you won't remember that. <laughs> but I, I was the one and only teacher, custodian, um, worker, whatever. And uh, it was a very interesting first day. Anyway, and I'll only take a minute to do it. Um, first of all, uh, I have to give credit to two people within the school system at the time that were really very, very special to C-Lab. Uh, one was the elementary superintendent, uh, Mary Keneally. Some of you will remember her. You remember? Yeah. And uh, also the secondary superintendent, uh, who was uh, uh, Mr. Brown's Beagle, <coughs> who and now the auditorium at the high school was named for him, I believe. Yeah. Well, at any rate, uh, they were the two that sat with me in a back room on the old uh, school department building on William Street, and we were sitting on a bunch of boxes and came together and decided, okay, we'll have enough to get one class in. And uh, the class was made up uh, of uh, fifth and sixth graders at that time, the very first one. <clears throat> well, anyway, Mary Keneally's the one that ran around to the schools and asked the kids, uh, you want to come to a place called Sea Lab? And of course, she wound up scrounging together 22 kids that decided to come. And uh, on the first day of school, now you, you guys think back to your first day of school here and see uh, you know, what it was like. Uh, outside the gate, uh, here at uh, Fort Rodman, the, uh, the main gate off uh, Brock Ave, uh, uh, at 8.30 in the morning, I, <laughs> I came up to 22 kids standing there, kind of starry-eyed, and um, we started. I opened the gate because it was still a military reservation, you know, at the time, and um, uh, there were still a few units in there, including my own, by the way. And uh, I brought the children down a bunch of uh, abandoned streets to the one building that was modern. And uh, that was down uh, actually right now where the uh, military museum is. And it was a concrete building. It had two classrooms and uh, a center foyer and restrooms. That was it. Oh, and I'm sorry, uh, a drill room in the back that faced the, uh, the, east, the east side. Well, at any rate, um, that's, that's what started Sea Lab. And uh, we worked through the summer. The kids didn't want to stop. We had to because the six weeks was up. <laughs> and they decided they wanted to come back for a second year. And I said to them, uh, and, and the parents who by then had formed the Sea Lab Keel, which was great. They're big help. They're still a big, big help. Uh, at any rate, um, we decided after a discussion with the superintendent that uh, we would put in the second year and then the third year and so on and built it up to six years 
uh, through ninth grade, and I am very, very happy to see that that has been maintained. And uh, you know, I congratulate all you kids for what you've done this summer. Uh, as you, many of you know, we've been filming here with from DCTV in Dallas, and uh, we'll be putting together a rather interesting uh, film about COM, and I'm looking forward to that. So, congratulations, to everybody, teachers, all you guys. Uh, it was terrific uh, seeing everything that you've actually been doing uh, during class time, and I was glad to be able to get in and see that. And Simone. Thank you for everything. Thank you. That's just kind of